century ago, Oscar Wilde said that only shallow people do not judge by appearances. He lived in a world where dress and manner of speech broadcast, by design, socially significant information. An observer walking the streets of any North American city today would find it much harder to conclude anything about the occupation or status of the people passing by. This is because modern people have come to value equality, at least in appearance, above all else. To counteract this tendency, I recently started lecturing in my McGill doctoral robes at the University of Toronto. As you might imagine, the students were very curious about this. Some were even offended. Their deeply egalitarian expectations were violated by the appearance of this symbol of authority. They were not alone in such feeling. I found it necessary to fight my own reserve, such as it is, to display my position in this manner. But this is why I've done it. Equality is an important and necessary value. However, it is no more important than justice, truth, or freedom. And any virtue in isolation tends to degenerate into a vice. Furthermore, the differences between people are important and should not always be hidden from view. People are different. They differ in intelligence, and intelligence matters far more than is comfortable to admit. People also differ in their personalities. Conscientious people, for example, are orderly and industrious, instead of disorderly and lazy. These differences of temperament turn over time into differences of rank. Why should the young strive for anything if all such distinctions wash out in the name of equality? We are social animals and must have our contributions validated by others. The university where I lecture is a place that shapes potential identities including those of scholar or scientist. However, the anti-authoritarian tilt that characterized 60s culture has hollowed out the identity of the university and left it vulnerable to colonization. The university is a place where culture is analyzed, transmitted, and generated. When the university's vital cultural function is sacrificed to short-term economic concerns or to the dictates of a false egalitarianism, no one gets stronger. This is already happening. One sign is the decreasing proportion of funding devoted to the humanities, the very soul of the university. This is coupled with a decline in enrollment. Over the decades, as the university abandoned its unique identity, another emerged to take its place, that of a business or a corporation. Thus, professors dress in the suits of businessmen, the only acceptable costume left, or like overgrown students. Without its unique authority, and perhaps without the trappings of that authority, the university lies helpless in the face of the ever-encroaching corporate ethos. This defenselessness is dangerous and threatens the integrity of the institution. For this reason, I have decided to adopt the garb of my role as a professor. This is a decidedly non-egalitarian gesture, designed to help me model a successful, mature identity for the young adults who are my students. It is also an attempt to help maintain the integrity of the university, which I respect deeply, and which has provided me with a secure and productive home. Long live necessary differences. For the agenda with Steve Pakin, I'm Jordan Peterson.